Alrighty, welcome back to the stream, and welcome back once again to another Mum Demos, where we've got a selection of random games, demos, and other things that caught my eye to check out. Granted, most of these are actual games that we're going to be playing today, but still, we got a selection. Let me turn on my timer before I forget. Alrighty. Christmas is on the 25th, right? Yeah. All right. So, just before Christmas, we got a bunch of games to take a look at today. There's a couple games I would love to show off, but unfortunately I am not allowed to. One of them is a beta, and the other one's an alpha. Just both very cool games. I will speak more about those when the time comes. And by that I mean when the games are actually released and I can actually play them on stream. Hey. Uh, in the meantime, let's start off with this first game, which I was recommended to try out, because apparently it's quite short, and it's also free. Okay, I can't... there's nothing for this one, so... Oh, that's a jaunty tune. Alright, hold on a second. Ah, it's going to be one of those games. Okay. Okay. So, first game we're playing is a small one that was recommended to me called Buffet Night. So this game is available on Steam and it's currently just free. Straight up free. You can go get it right now. You don't have to pay for it. Download it yourself. fine. So let's give it a shot, shall we? Controls, movement is arrow keys, select interact is Z, cancel is X, and use escape, inhale slash shoot is space, swallow is X. Let me see. Junk mail, bills, more bills. What is this? Looks like a letter from Mayor Muffin Top. Dormy Town is in danger, please, we need your help. Sounds like another quest for me, Buffet Night. The connoisseur of all that is delicious. Let's be the chance to discover the legendary treasure. The ultimate flavor of Gustation Kingdom. To fulfill my dream to taste the most delicious tape flavor in the land. Before I head out, time for my third breakfast. My tummy's grumbling again. Hold space to inhale, inhale objects. Press X to swallow your food. Or cover a heart. Ah, oh, that hit the spot. I should see what Mayor Muffin Top needs help with this time. Legends say the taste of the ultimate flavor is truly out of this world. What a handsome looking knight! A tiny pot plant. A clay pot. Something shiny inside? Maybe I have to come back in here with some food in me. Trots look like the cracked boulders are blocking the way to town. gonna do this because it's right at the beginning and I just want to know. Can't 
can't I can't spit it out. I can't I can't get it. I can't get it for whatever it reason. I just can't do it. I can't spit any food out. I mean, I couldn't do it because I hadn't, uh... Oh, you know what? Let me try one last thing. Let's try one more thing. Okay, let's come out here, get the tutorial for spitting. There we go. What? Really? Okay, I guess I can't get that. Oh, Buffet Knight, I'm so glad you're here! Buffet Knight? Buffet Knight. The Demon Chef has stolen our Star Geodes! And has taken them all into his castle! Star Geodes? Mythical Star Geodes! Crystal fragments of the sun that has fallen down into the Station Kingdom! Sprinkle these into any of our cooking, and see the flavor enhanced by extraordinary levels! What are we going to do without our secret ingredient? Delicious food, you say? Speak no more! This is a worthy quest for me, Buffet Knight! Thank you so much! The Demon Chef's castle is just north of here. Well, my town is counting on you, Buffet Knight. Watch out for that shady witch who lives east of town. I don't trust her one bit. Perhaps these star geodes may lead to the legendary ultimate flavor. Who would think that such a tiny piece of the sun can be so delicious? I wonder if the sun is delicious as well. I can reach it, that is. That's <laughs> where the most delicious fruits. That ain't... Isn't it great to grow back so fast? Hidden Star Geode Shards. Fried chickens are the best in Gourmet Town. Nice. Greetings, Buffett Knight. <laughs> What? What do you mean you're not here yet? This is the third screen in the game. Seeking an unreachable goal, I see. Nonsense, I will return to the Stagios to Gourmet Town in no time. No, no, I offer to your grand a dream. The ultimate flavor? Perhaps I can lend you a hand. You will no doubt come across a key on your journey. Hello, Phil, how are you doing? Bring me this to an instant. Bring this to me instead, and I will unlock the path to your dream. At a price, of course. Scatter across the station kingdom of star geode shards. Ah, uh, all right, don't worry about it. Find all eight hidden shards for me and we're in business. <laughs> yeah, no, like I said, no worries. Demon Chef Castle North, Gourmet Town South. Plate full plateaus east with Latinus Jungle West. Ball on the ground. So I need a stronger suck. I, I literally, I've been playing it for literally five minutes, dude. I, I don't, I don't know what to tell you. It's, it's fine. It's a fun little thing, but I, I've been playing it for not that long.
level one? I leveled up? What does that do for me? That's four out of eight geodes. It's half the star key. I want to be close. I don't know why I want to be close to this thing. Music's a bop. Oh, I see. It just gave me more health. Billy has increased. You can now inhale larger objects. Ooh, sick. Found star key piece. Warp back to the entrance. Yeah. That's five out of eight. Six out of eight. That's suspicious up there. No. Curious. Anyway, I've got two more to go. At least one of them is going to be off in the right side. That's seven. I'm a little surprised it was that easy to find that one. all of them. that actually hit me. I, I can't swallow anything while I'm doing that. Okay. Alright, so you can't swallow while hurt. Good to know. I, 
think I just stand here and be safe, yeah. Heating of it has increased. You can now inhale larger objects. Cool. Found a star key piece. You will see the star castle key. Or back to the entrance? Yeah. And you know what? Since I've already collected all the pieces, let's just go do this. You found our late hidden shards. I'll have you rock me the key. Excellent. Allow me to unlock your true gluttonous potential. Your eating power is drastically increased. Good luck finding your ultimate flavor. <laughs> Ah, what the worst going? Oh, for now, how could you? Help, oh, I melt. God, that's terrifying. <laughs> More sight in the distance. Back at the castle gate, it seems to be heading this way. Delicious. Let's eat the world. And over here. She will never breach my castle's iron defense. Oh, wow, look at this. There's a whole world map. Uh oh. I'm a Katamari of eating stuff. No idea what that was. I just ate an entire city or something. This I'm pretty. Sure, this is literally a Katamari level. I'm going to point out. This is literally a level, and we love Katamari. around devour the ultimate flavor this, it. this must be the ultimate flavor terrific taste stands across my tongue happy flavor exploding on my taste buds or oh, dream has finally been fulfilled now what my hunger grows yet again there has to be more out there now more for me to eat The taste of the sun was truly exquisite, worthy of the title of the ultimate flavor. Buffet Knight savored it down to its final drop. But what now? Buffet Knight gazed towards the distant stars. Surely in the vast infinite of space, there must be more flavors just like this sun. And thus Buffet Knight journeyed across the universe, forever growing, forever devouring, searching for his next meal. Ending 2-2, Insatiable Black Hole. Yes. Oh, it's made an RPG Maker. I should have guessed, but cool. I didn't realize RPG Maker actually let you do things that weren't turn-based battles. Touch the Stars Game Jam. Ah, oh, it's ga Jam Game. That explains it. Thank you for playing.
And it conveniently takes me back right here. Nice. Starcastle key in the lock gate? Yes. Are you sure you don't want to give me the key to me instead? Bring your shards and help you reach your dreams. Yes, open the gate. Now you let me save first. Hey, well, I hope you won't forget this. So much more. <laughs> Demon Chef, your reign of terror is over. Return all the mystical stodge guilds at once. I see you here, Buffet Knight. No matter how delicious those mystical sargeos are, you'll never find the ultimate flavor here. The taste of these tiny fragments is just a mere fraction of the original. The sun in the sky. Spare with me, your dream is truly impossible to reach. Silence, I will not be swayed by your words. I shall return peace to the Gustation Kingdom. Impossible! How can I lose like this? You may have won, but your dream will never come true! <laughs> These must be the stolen greens from Gourmet Town. My tongue can taste the umami from all the way over here. You found the mystical star geodes. Time to return these back to me off the top. Back to Gourmet Town I go. Thank you, Buffina. Thank you, Buffet Knight, for bringing back our star geodes. We prepared a delicious feast just for you as thanks. A secret ingredient added, of course. Please enjoy it to your heart's content. Buffet Knight feasted in Gourmet Town all day and night. With the stolen mystical star geodes returned, the townspeople prepared the most delectable dishes for their hero. Well, Buffet Knight enjoyed every bit of this delicious banquet. Deep down inside, his dream remains unfulfilled. Will the ultimate flavor be forever out of his reach? Perhaps we will never find out. Full, yet unfulfilled hero. Congratulations, you unlocked all endings. Thanks. Alright, so that's Buffet Night. Cute little game. I'm gonna be real. Like I said, I did not realize that RPG Maker could let you do, like, mechanics. So I can't really, like... I can't knock the game too hard, because it is a game jam game. This thing was made in literally, like, a day, probably. The idea is nice. I like the idea. It's cute. Um, one thing that is something that bugs me, though, is that it's very easy. <laughs> Like, I'm not saying, like, it had to have all these mechanics thought out, but I feel like it's probably a limitation of the RPG Maker engine, where you can't have, like, fine movement. So, 
every single one of those bosses, I could defeat by standing still and holding down space, effectively. Like the slime, you could stand still and just do that. There weren't any, like, patterns that burst out across the screen that forced you to move or anything like that, or you couldn't absorb some of them. No, you're perfectly safe all the time, as long as you hold space. Like, I would have expected, like, um... If, if this was a full flesh game, then I would guess, like, the slime would probably have moves where, like, it slaps out slime tentacles or something across the screen to force you to move out of position. Or, you know, something like that. Or the stone one would, like, smack the ground and cause rocks to rise up. But, but again, it's a Game Jam game, so I guess you can't go too hard. And I feel like it, it really is hampered a lot by the engine. If this was, like, an actual game made it in something like Unity or uh, Game Maker or something like that, probably would be really good, honestly. Just like, sort of a little action adventure kind of game, but it also has a Kirby sort of suck in enemy, suck in projectile, spit it back out kind of thing going. I can see it. And then you can also go in mechanics on like, um, management of resources. Like, you can't absorb an entire area because if you do, then you might run out of stuff to fight with or, you know, whatever. So, it, I can see a lot of potential there in like, the basic idea, but not in the RPG Maker, and not in its current form. But yeah, very cool. Very cute little game. Go check that out yourself. Only took me, what, 10, 20 minutes to beat it? 15, 20 minutes? Something like that? Fun little thing. Alright. Anyway, that's that one. On to the next game. Okay, so this next game is one I'm a little iffy on, if I'm going to be real. So I played Cave Story a while back, and there's a whole story about how like Cave Story basically got stolen from Pixel because Nakeles is a bunch of assholes or whatever. And they recently put out a brand new free game called Cave Story's Secret Santa, which is not at all like Cave Story. It's kind of like a weird stealth game where you play as Santa, that one Amiga who is named Santa, who's trying to return stolen presents before Christmas ends. And they got this really nice, like, remix of the Cave Story theme song, too. Or not theme song, it's, um... It's the first zone, it's the grasslands, where you find, um... Yeah, Santa lives there, doesn't he? Santa and Chaco. Like, I actually like this song. It's nice. 
Let's take a look. Effects on language EN. Oh, thank God. So you can either have like a CRT view or a regular view. And I'm going to stick with this because this... It's a neat aesthetic, but I feel like this is better. Alright, so let's begin, shall we? Let's see how this goes. Somewhere in the sand zone. Now there are little ones. Have I told you about the story about when Chava tried to steal Christmas? I don't remember who Chava is. During peace from time, the weapon business slows down. So Chava and the other guard, he had to plan. Oh, it's the guys in the abyss. Right. It was the night before Christmas. They crept into everyone's homes. And stole the presents. Well, Balrog overheard their plot and stole them right back. And the closest house to Gaudi's hunter was Santa. Santa's. So they teamed up and then... All bookshelf. It's a sign with some scribbles on it. It's a. I mean, I drunk into those intentionally, so. It's a west facing chair. It's an east facing chair. You eat the cookies. The pot. Pot. There's no time to go to sleep. There was some jellyfish juice in the fridge. There was? Oh, that's true, jellyfish juice. Choir. Cooked up. Just the fire, obtain some charcoal. Hey! I don't remember what I used charcoal for. Old health station, doesn't work anymore. Drive appears to be full. Can't save here. True Santa would never use a door. Presents delivered. Oh, because you can give charcoal to somebody. Aha! Also, I guess you have to exit through the fireplace. Deliveries, one out of one. Time, one minute, five seconds. Bonus cookies. I just, I really don't know how to feel about them, like, puppeting around Cave Story. Because it's a great game, but then they kind of, like... Old computer. Oh, this is the, uh, this is where that robot's hanging out. The one, like, broken robot. Presence delivered. Get the book out of Dodge. Please don't trap me in using that big stone block while I'm recharging, Malco. <laughs> Gifts delivered. Deliveries, one at one time, for three seconds, bonus cookies. Ah, yeah, there it goes, Chaco's house. Caught! Oh no! Oh, this is like my sound, I guess. Presence delivered. So you can either leave now or go for the bonus. Oh no, I was caught! Now let's go for the cookies first. Okay, so you don't have to worry about getting caught. Twenty-six seconds, deliveries, one out of one, time, twenty-six seconds, bonus cookies. God, 
God, this song's so good. It's a pot. Sure is. Long festive table. Alright, the chair's going to be low. God, I, this is the boss theme song. It took a second for me to realize. Like, the music's really nice, but again, it's just remixes of the original song. It, they're good remixes, though. Dark House. Guess, try out my new light switches. Electricity. I gave you the gate greatest gift of all, a lowered electricity bill when I left. Okay. I feel like that animation's Zelda. Like, that looks like the Zelda pull animation. Sorry about the mess. God, it's a mess. You better be sorry. Oh, their noises. Ow! Oh. That's actually really funny. Gifts delivered. Cookies. Yeah, that takes care of all those houses. Hallway house. What?
Good thing they don't have a rotation, they just flip between two positions. Yeah, I don't I'd like to find out what's inside. Thanks, game. I get this last one is my question. How do I get the cookies? What? You can knock him out? Oh, okay. <laughs> You can use your sack to just knock the f knock a motherfucker out. Okay. I see. So the the uh, the vision cone actually turned on for a second. That's what happened there. It turns on for a second when you. Uh... I wish I could get inside that chest. It's gonna go this way. Yep. Oh, come on. I was right there. I guess it'd probably be a better idea to hit the cookies on the way out. Yeah, I mean, it's not a very long game. It was only about uh, 20 minutes or 25 minutes for the entire thing. I did get both endings, yes. It was alright. Fun little game. I, it was definitely a jam game, though. It had that, like, same level of, um... Idea, not fleshed out in the least, and also very, like, quickly implemented. You could definitely feel it was a jam game. I could probably recall that if I hadn't seen it, like, in the description at the end. This is Cave Story Secret Santa, which is also free on Steam. It's a little, like, weird stealth game based on Cave Story, which is bizarre. Snake House. Oh, is this Cthulhu's place? Whoop. 
Away with you. Uh oh. Oh. Okay, that works. Pry bar acquired. Nice. Okay, time to sneak into this. Cookies acquired. Like, if it hadn't been a game jam, Ball of Duty Modern Bowfair, alright, well, I'll take a look at that and maybe check it out next week. Bowling game with grenades. Ah, I see. That feels like it'd be easy. delivered. I feel like, you know what that sounds like actually? It kind of sounds like hand, what was it, hand simulator? There's that one game where like you have to try and get a grenade to go off so you can kill everyone else in the room. It kind of sounds like that. Find some. I'm gonna have to find some jelly. There's a dog in there. Oh no, I got caught. Oh, I see. Cookies acquired. This is a big house. Ha. Jellyfish juice acquired. Yeah, it sure isn't. It's it's a new cave. It's it's made by Nakalis. It's not a real cave story. Ah, oh, shit. It's not a real cave story game. It's made by Nakalis. It's some kind of like weird stealth game sort of thing. It's interesting. Also, it's like time attack stuff. Also, hello, how are you doing, Vision Vortex? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's made by it's made by Nicalis. Like it says on the thing. Honestly, I'm really enjoying the remixes more than anything else in the game. Because there's a lot of like these. The opening title theme is basically a bunch of Christmas themed like remixes of Cave Story music, which is really, it's really good. <laughs> I 
And like you can hear right now, this is a, a remix of the boss music. Just delivered. Time. Bonus cookies. Dangerous house. Watch your step. Oh, jeez. Why are there so many spikes? Oh, it's a red flower! Of course it's a red flower. That makes sense. Ah. Presents delivered. This place is a death trap. Wait, well, hello. How are you doing, Vision? Enjoying your day? Having a good time? Need some jellyfish juice. Good to hear, good to hear. Uh, did I find the cookies here? I don't think so. Probably over this way. No idea where the cookies are. Ooh, nice. What kind of za did you get? Okay, the cookies have to be up here. Want me some cookies. Okay, there's no cookies. Are there no cookies? I don't see any cookies. There should be cookies someplace. I just, I just didn't see any cookies. Weird. Was it power pizza for speedrunning? Bacon and cheese. Okay, that's a pretty good combo. I just, I usually don't like bacon on my pizzas because they're kind of, it usually like gets too crispy, you know what I mean? Because like you like, if you cook in the bacon, you can't cook it in the oven because it might like not cook it properly. If delivered, deliveries, two or two time, bonus, none. Chicken. Oh. Well, chicken, chicken's actually pretty good on pizza, generally speaking, because it... You, you, like, cook it halfway, and then you put it on, and it'll, like, cook it nice so it's kind of juicy. And it's, like, a little chewy, but it's in little chunks, so it's usually better. Oh, what did you have on the pizza? Oh, yeah. I, I usually don't go for bacon on my pizzas, because, like, it's... It's basically, like, a, a hard, crispy, like... Cluster, which is not great, generally speaking. Ah, oh, heals him there, okay. Oh. Oh! <laughs> oh! What? Oh, it was in a box! How did that work? Ah, 
just went the wrong way with that. Okay, this is annoying. How do I... How do I get into that chest? Can I? Oh, God, it goes down. Okay, just wait for him to leave. Let's see if I can do this. Okay, it's not a chest I can even open. Great, good to know. Present delivery to complete him. Oh yeah, they can't see me when I'm in the present. Got it. I don't think this is even required. I mean, crisp, crispy bacon is nice, but, like, there's crispy bacon, and then there's, like, char charred lump of salty meat bacon, which is not so great. Mushroom, pepper, olive, salami, roasted onions with a dab of garlic. No, that's a... It's like an Italian pizza. It's a lot of toppings, though. Uh oh, shit! Go this way. Ah, okay, that, that makes sense. I used to make homemade pizzas until I realized it was I was making too many of them and it was doing bad things to my health. And by bad things to my health, I mean like I was just, I was eating a lot of pizzas. Also, like, it's, it's a lot of work, honestly. Away with you. Yeah, but there's like, there's, oh yeah, I ate a lot of bread, on, and then there's, oh yeah, I'm making pizzas like every week. Making two, basically like 12, 14 inch pizzas every week. And just eating them over the course of a day or two. Ah, here we are, back in Sansa, that makes sense. Yeah, I suppose. Oh yeah, like, listen, listen to this. Like, listen to this remix that's about to pop up. Bridges. How do I get there? Yeah, exactly. It's great, right?
Oh, I see it. Yeah, well, I actually, I didn't have a bread machine when I was doing that. The bigger problem with that is then, like, I don't want to make pizzas all the time, and then the yeast and the stuff just sort of sits there and goes bad. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm aware. I've made pizzas before. Just, like... See if this works. Will this block it off or no? Okay, there's another spot to the s bottom of that. One space left that they can get through. One present delivered. I think I've broken the AI. I appear to have broken the AI. Sick. Yeah, well, that's the private one for the dog, I guess. Little teeny tiny, little teeny tiny one. I wonder why this is here, though. Okay, this is... This doesn't actually do anything. So, whatever. Anyway, I totally broke the AI. Hey! <laughs> I got an achievement, the orange. Cookies. I do, I do enjoy hearing this music again, though. It's always nice music. It's a gift. Ah! I don't move fast enough. Extinguisher acquired. Watch full junk. Uh oh. Mistakes may have been made. It's Akbar. As an Ak, it's a trap. Da 
Douse the fire, tank some charcoal. Nice. And a pry bar. Old computer. Gotta wait. Fine. Really? It corrected Akbar to Backbar? How does that work? Oh, that was the wrong one. Come on, move. Move. Do something. I dare you. Come on. Good. We're out. Please don't come up this way. Thank you. Whew. Presence delivered. Gifts delivered. Deliveries to time. Bonus cookies. Man, I love the th I love the music in this game. Or like, rather, I like love the music in Cave Story. It's so good. Why did you put that little... Oh. Huh. It's a chest hidden in the walls. How curious. this dock, though. Ah, hello, Minor Trader. Yeah, it's it's nice, but it's just like, I'm a little little bummed out by... It's gonna... Okay, it's fine. It doesn't actually react to me walking by. Also, there's a hidden gift in the walls. How do I get there? Yes, hi, Mind Trader. How are you doing today? Because we're good. Our f okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. Relatively, thank you. Please keep turning the other direction. Excellent. Okay, now there's got to be a secret way over there, right? I feel like there's got to be. But I don't know how to get there. Like, there's a secret room in the walls over here, but how do you reach it? Unless... Ah, oh, come on! Yeah, so close. Okay, uh... I don't know how to get in there. There's... It seems like there might be a secret or something, but it's very unclear. Put the 
dum ba dum. Explode. True Santa would never use a door. How about a Santa that's trying to get into this fucking thing, whatever it is? So really, I don't know how to get in there. I can't see anything that would get me in there. Like, there's no... The walls are solid. There's nothing, like... There's just a hidden treasure in the wall, which I guess may not even be real. Who knows? Maybe it's not a real treasure. Oh, wait a second. Wait a second. Hold on just a minute. Why is this wall missing a texture? God damn it. Someone left their laundry in? That's what it was. Okay, well, you know what? We found out. We've discovered the missing laundry. I was trolled. The game trolled me. Expertly done. Well, you know what? I still managed to complete this level faster than last time, so... And that positive. Net positive. Deliveries two out of two, time 137, bonus cookies. Mm, delicious. Ah, Jenka's house. Somewhere in the sand zone. And all the packages were delivered. Just like that, Christmas was safe. I didn't deliver all the packages, though. Balrog and Santa then went their simple way. Oh, yeah! Oh, no. <gasps> I've been spotted. Thank you for playing. I saved Christmas. All right, well, that was a uh, secret Santa. So like I said, I the game's fine. I understand that it's probably made by like just some people who weren't involved with the Nykalis acquisition of Cave Story, but like, still don't know how to feel about that whole thing. I just don't, I just don't like it. I, okay, that's not the best way to put it. I do know how I feel about it, but I don't know what the best way to put it is. Oh, and I can actually go back and redo them all, and apparently I need to go all the way around in order to reach the levels I haven't done yet. You know what? So there's, there's only a couple left. Might as well finish them off, right? I tech house. Oh, come on. Don't do that. You just, you just had to go on the side. I was going on. Just, just happened to really... All the way up to. Oh, that's why. It's because you can't go the other way. Oh. Okay, let's go here.
Fry bar acquired. Cookies eaten. Oh, there's... Ah, come on. There's a Mamiga in there, too. Fry bar acquired from stolen chests. It is a wee bit goofy seeing all these textures I recognize from the game showing up in a game like this. Because I recognize, like, this is like the wall textures. These are all wall textures from the game, normally. And it's just like, having them show up here in this format is weird. Cookies! Alright, what else we got? Got a house down there. Island room. Curious. That Amiga is blitzed out of their mind. Is that Igor? I think I think it's Igor. It's wearing like a little little tie almost. Fair enough. Is too in the zone to notice you right now. Where the fuck am I going? What? Oh, it's Isaac? Oh, of course, because Nicalis! Of course! Callus, of course. Isaac's in the basement. Okay, but I didn't actually deliver all the presents. right there. Ah, God. Well, found a little Easter egg. If you're looking for a Binding of Isaac cameo in this game, there it is. You shouldn't be awake right now. 
Was that even marked? It wasn't. It was like... I just went down one of the walls over here and found it by accident. Yeah, right there. I just went in there and found it. Just completely in unintentionally. I didn't even notice that... I didn't even realize the wall wasn't textured there. Or, it was textured. Get in there. Thank you. Okay, gotta go up here now for the last present. Just too blitzed out of its mind to see me. So not too much eggnog. Deliveries four to four time, two minutes, bonus cookies. Donut house. It's probably shaped because it's shaped like a donut. Yeah, that's about what I expected. I don't know what I expected. But this was about it, though. Okay, now the question is, where are the cookies at? Here. Oh, shit. Okay, you know what? That's fair. That's totally fair. I deserve that one, I think. Oh, that one doesn't peek in here. Okay. That one just peeks in on this one. Get out of here. Gifts delivered. Bonus cookies. Alright, that's everything. I got like one thing I missed the cookies on, but I couldn't find them, so. So we're in the sand zone. All the packages were delivered. Just like that, Christmas was saved. Bog and Santa then went their separate way. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Do, 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 do. I got an achievement. Santa's list. All right. So, like I said, that is going to be that. That is, uh... Cave Stories Secret Santa, based on Studio Pixel's original cave story. If you want to support Pixel, go buy Carol Blaster. It's a very good game. At least from the bits I played. I haven't beaten the whole thing. Alternatively, go download Cave Story. It's free. It's fantastic. It was the indie darling for years, years and years. I think Shovel Knight finally replaced it. But Cave Story, incredible game. Fantastic, go play it. Definitely worth trying out. If you haven't before, this game, I guess you can download it. It's free if you like, if you like a uh, like little sort of stealth uh, speed run kind of game. It's, just, it's all right, honestly. I'm really, honestly, the best part of the game for me is the soundtrack. The soundtrack is 
Gameplay is a little stiff because it's all like grid based. You can't stop moving if you moved into a position and then you're slow and it's the whole thing. But it's it's how the game's designed, I get it. But, like the music in this is great. Love it. I love hearing the old music come back and I love hearing the remixes. Anyway, go play Cave Story. It's free from Pixel's website. And, uh... Go buy Carol Blaster. And you can also download this game for free. Anyway, on to the next game. Oh god damn, it's not capturing right. Hold on a second. Uh window capture. Oh, it's gonna be one of these games, isn't it? Oh god, that's tiny. I guess it's called Pocket Dungeon for a reason. Okay, so windowed resolution. Bump that up. Okay, uh... You see it now? Yes. Doesn't look great, though. What about if I do game capture? No, it doesn't see it. Okay, so window capture, it's gotta be. Okay, and then let me just full screen this. Ah, uh, it doesn't look great. I'm gonna have to do, it's gonna have to do. Uh, it doesn't, it just doesn't look good. I don't understand what's up with this game. It's just, it's not capturing right for whatever reason. If I go to game capture, try capturing it, it gives me nothing. And then window capture is messed up. So, I guess that's what we're dealing with today. Alright. That'll have to do. Anyway. Welcome to Shovel Knight Pocket Dungeon. So, I actually initially was not going to do this game for today. Like, it's a brand new release. doesn't have a free demo. It's 20 bucks. I wasn't going to play it. Because, you know, I haven't played Shovel Knight all the way through. And also, just like, it's big enough. I doesn't need the exposure. But then I was given a free key for the game. So, I got it, right? <laughs> right? Anyway, um, 
You can see a little bit of the background leaking in on the sides. That's due to the fact that this is in windowed mode. For whatever reason, the game does not capture on game capture mode. Yeah, exactly. Granted, it's just because someone I know just had a free key and gave it to me, but anyway, so yeah. Ignore the little bits on the side. The game's fine when you're playing it by yourself. Like on my monitor, it looks fine. It looks like it's filling the whole thing. Just for whatever reason, window mode is not capturing right, and it just is strict, straight up not capturing a game cap. Actually, you know what? Let me see. Can I just uh, transform, uh, fit to screen? Nope, that's it. it. Fitting to screen is still not correct. So just try and ignore the things around the edge of the screen. I can't, I can't not have them at the moment. So we have adventure versus mode beats. Save everyone from the pocket dungeon as Shovel Knight. Ah, playing as different people. Okay. Versus mode. Okay, let's play the main game first. about it. Thanks for stopping by, though. Hey, blue guy. You haven't given up already, have you? Oh, good. You're still with us. We pulled you away from all the monsters just in time. Salutations. I'm Puzzle Knight. You look just as lost as everyone else who ends up trapped here after touching that confounded cube. This is the pocket dungeon, you see. A perfect snare even for a puzzle prodigy such as myself. Completely unsolvable. He's been trying for years, you know. Been riding my boat wagon around, trying to gather up new rivals like yourself. There have been rather a lot of them lately, haven't there, Jester? This one looks handy with that shovel. With your neck. What are the seven ciphers with that? A block blockade! Curse us, we won't be going anywhere until that's cleared out. You're there with a the shovel. Make yourself useful, with you? Okay, kind of getting... Oh, I gotta clean this up here, too. No, it's just like you can chain together matching blocks as long as they're touching. Chains are quite brilliant, don't you think? But none of this will matter if the beetles get us. I hear them scream. Oh, I feel faint. Ah, I see. It's kind of roguelike-y. And that, um... You attack and things attack you at the same time. And by roguelike, I mean like actual rogue, where things are turn-based. You didn't think they just let you run up and smack them, did you? They hit back, of course, whenever you attack. Only the one next to you, though. By chaining your attack, you'll dispatch the whole group from a safe distance. Alas, you won't get by without taking some damage, but luckily potions are plentiful. Here, try one. Refreshing, isn't it? You'll get used to the taste, quickly if you want to stay alive. Lasty time works differently in the pocket dungeon. It rushes forward whenever you move and passes by slowly if you stand still. Oh, it's the torpedo stampede incoming! Remember, don't rush, take time to find your next step. I'll be quick and decisive.
Oh, dig this guy. You're natural. Thanks for the help. I'm sure a valiant puzzle master would be impressed if you hadn't been, you know, cowering inside. I wonder what that key over there would unlock the chest we've been carrying around. I wonder what that would be. be anything in there. Dude, take it from me. You always want something in the chest. Try that key, would you? Oh, fancy. Oh, me oh my, what have we here? Yes, of course. After so long, the pieces have begun to fall into place. I fell into the pocket and I lost my key to a special heir. A child into five key fragments and you found one. Thank you, uh... Shovel Knight. Shovel Knight, you're the puzzled. Onward, my merry band. Well, I can't miss just ahead. We'll stay out of the way while you clear the path. You needn't go on foot. After long enough enemies are defeated, a door would appear, leaving us out of here. Simply unlock it and step through. Oh, and you're no good to us unconscious, so do remember about the potions, girls. Freezes foes on hit. Nice. Kind of getting into the groove of this now. I'm kind of getting into the groove of this. I understand. Fine, and Yacht Club Games present. Not, not Vine, the dead video thing that was replaced by TikTok. Shovel Knight Pocket Dungeon. Shovel. Shovel Knight, would you mind telling me what you're doing in that dungeon? Sir, clearing the way forward. Here we are. Oh, we sweet home. It's not much yet, but it's a solid base of operations. If we're to escape, we'll need to work our way through each level and defeat the ruler of this place, the Pocket Dungeon Master. Who is he? Or she? No idea. But we saw some other knights falling here, too. I bet they'd be willing to help if you cross paths. Make yourself comfortable, but please follow me when you're ready to depart. Hi! It's good to see another friendly face. I'm still a bit of a novice, but I'm doing my best. Want to trade some hints? Trying to move fast to get my gem meter up, but then I got sloppy and made mistakes. So many is like Tadful change their behavior on alternating turns. It's hard to keep up. So that means like gold armor can break you from certain can block from certain sides. Give me a break. It's a real nice shadow. Let's trade more tips after your next tip. Hello. Am I supposed to be in here? Of course I am. I should be asking you the same thing. Yes, buddy, I'm just having a look-see. Puzzle Knight's got some fancy things. How about we keep both keep this nice and quiet? Boy, I bet you're glad I snuck that puzzle guidebook in your pocket. Pretty useful, eh? Yeah, see any thieves here? I sure don't. Not a thief inside, just us connoisseurs. Puzzle Knight sure knows his way around, but apparently not enough to bust out of here. Maybe a creative place like that. Think they'd have any other artifacts? I bet they're loaded. Looks like a puzzle key had a key to this whole gem, but it broke into fragments when he fell in. Tough luck, huh? There's shrines of some sort, all our Puzzle Knight's maps. What do you think is stashed in there? You meet Prism Knight yet? Her teleporting is really something else. You think she could warp out of here with her arms full of loot? Painting a Puzzle Knight and his family. The canvas is barely intact and the details are smudged. Hand drawn maps of the Pocket Dungeon. Many areas are charred, but the shrines are notably incomplete. 
Various attempts to solve the pocket dungeon through gadget. Each tool is heavily worn or smashed from frustration. Chicken. Thanks for help, Luke. I have some items in the shop suit. Okay, he doesn't have anything yet. The quest lies beyond this threshold, but there is one last matter to consider. Like a roguelite, when you fall in battle, your board fills up. Your adventure is over and you return to camp. Like a puzzle game, when you fall in battle, you respawn. When the board fills up, your adventure is over and you return to camp. <laughs> when you're ready, take the exit above. As for me, I'll be here deep in thought. If you find my advice, just give me a firm jostle. I shudder to think what might happen if we weren't able to find the key fragments. Chester sounds authority with the boat awake, and in case you fall in battle, he'll whisk you away back to camp. Chester thinks these other knights will be able to assist us. If you ask me, they'll need to have some sense knocked into them first. But if you don't try to assemble the key fragments on your own, you must bring them all to me. Harum, I have no problem spending years solving a single puzzle, but I prefer to be doing so from the outside. Mysterious cloaked figures, eh? How odd. Truly, I would let you know if I ever came across one. One step at a time, that's why I keep telling myself. What's that? How long have I been here? A very long time indeed! Ooh. What kind of enemy never hits back after being defeated? That? The one that you just defeated with a facial blow. Chester says the saving keys will not chess can change the course of battle. Thanks to the weapon inside. Ha! What would he know? I hear such a zone that by chaining a target quickly, you'll gain your gem meat will charge up and you'll gain more jumps. I'm just giving up my switch of the key fragments. To be honest, now I don't want almost anything to get out of here. Look at all this peaceful coexistence. When we're in the field, we must battle. But here at camp, it's like we're all friends. Isn't that lovely? Are you writing all this down? I'd be fabulous if I didn't have to repeat myself. Okay, I think he's done. Traveling to the plains. Holy Christ, that's a lot of enemies. Wow! Got cash, I got the stash. Buy these relics now, do not be discovered late in the dungeon. Chronos Glass, reach the time on room, enter, or when board is nearly full. I figured we could get 16 turns in before everyone freezes from this thing. Find rare items. With cover in hand, you might become as good as me at finding items in chest. Nah. Fatal blows recover 2 HP at low health. Did you mean my brother Tip? He's trying to learn about the pocket dungeon, but I just want to loot. That's why chest is my guy. If you buy something here, it's the chance of appearing in the dungeon from that point on for forever. You gotta buy the relics down the dungeon every time, even after you unlock them here. That's just the way things work. Chester often delves for new relics when you're away. He's a real cheeky explorer. If you buy something here, it's a chance of hearing. Okay. Interesting, so it doesn't give you the option to swap between roguelike and infinite mode.
Oh, oh yeah, baby! the music though seriously and we're out of here 127 sex steps 72 KOs 75 100 gems you get a lot of gems Wow. Traveling to Pride More Keep. Oh, got the cash, I got the stash. Resist electric damage, plus one damage every ten steps. Plus item damage and durability. Leaves a fire trail. Oh, nice. Oh, big guy, huh? Oh my god. I was trapped. What was I going to do to that? Griffin slam tacks hit everything around it. Never complete! Nice. Travel to Pride More Keep.
got here? Uh, meal ticket. Chat on to increase your max HP by two. In this hungry dungeon, we sell quite a few. So they'll destroy everything, restore your health, and fall in battle, but only once. Extra damage to all blocks, why not? No, not what I want to do. Oh, wow, that's... Can't do it. I messed up. Get out. Nice. All right, level three. Let's go. To the Lich Yard. Hey, it's Death Knight Plague. No, not Plague Knight. I don't remember what this one's called. It's called. I was trapped. I was trapped. Got some cash. You go the stash. Plus one damage every fifth hit. Freezes time on the room. Bigger bomb explosion. New additions. What new? It was it's just items? I guess it was just items. Bunch of all traveling to the plains. didn't even notice my damage. I didn't even see my damage.
Ah, there we go. So, what is this? Destroy all matching foes? It must be like a... Well, it's worth using here, that's for sure. A stash ignites votes on hit. Let's go with that. Nice. Man, just playing to the beat is really fun, honestly. Just like Tap, 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 tap. It's not, it's just fun to do. I was trapped. I was trapped. What new additions? Is it just new items to buy? It probably is. If you're slain, foes are required to see exit. There's some damage every fifth hit. Plus one damage at max gem meter. It's it's really fun. Honestly, it's like nice and quick. Four gems. God, it's just, it's really fun. Like, and then you just, the music's great, and you're just bopping to the music while you're trying to do the gem stuff. I kind of wish I had these options still to turn it to the other mode, but I guess I might, but I don't know where it is. Meal ticket plus two HP leaves a fire trail.
Oh, I shouldn't have moved up. I shouldn't have moved up. Ah. Uh. It must be just telling you, like, you have enough money to buy something. Find more bombs plus bomb resistance. Of course, you do actually have to play this slightly quickly in order to actually, uh, do it successfully. Because things are going to be acting on their own speed. Trying to set up a chain with this skeleton. Just drop a skeleton on this space, for God's sake, man. Fine, I'll do that. I was trying to set up a huge chain. another key. Do I have a key? I have to have a key. Alright. Level complete! Du -du -du -du. Ba -ba 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 Okay, we got potion napkin. Potions won't chain. Find gems and blocks. Clear the room. Nice. Get out of here. Noise. The it's also like each of these levels is so quick, so just, you just want to like bust through them. And even if you do, it's not like it damages you if you lose. Because I'm back here, and that only took me like what four or five minutes. Each time is so quick. It's nice.
Oh, wow. Greetings from me, the Shrine Master. You've done well to reach one of the four shrines, but it's locked. You need three keys to get them. We're not that. Too bad you don't have a skeleton key. Yeah. My son has a guide the four pocket dungeon shrines. Only those who pay the toll may enter. Have you ever wondered what would happen if someone collected all of the shiny treasures? Me neither. <laughs> shrines are always located in the same level. Smart warriors will ready their tolls in advance. Oh! My goodness, it's you. What happened? Oh no, you're trapped too. Perhaps you can solve this together. Take a look. Shrine holds a key for it. They seem to be important. I'm not sure how they relate to defeating this pocket dungeon master. Someone is hiding something from us. Some sort of foul play. It's just a suspicion, but keep your eyes peeled. Can't you see? A wise first step. Very well, I'll hand there at once. Yeah! I hope protect the camp. Nothing will get through me. Shield Knight! Key fragment found. Divine liquid, plus one damage to undead. Ten chains, recover all health. Or item damage and durability up. Come on. Come on, man. I thought it wasn't gonna... Yeah, new knight unlocked. Bump them twice to switch characters. Plus some damage after fatal blows to chains. Find rare items. So those gem meter depletion and slain foes grant more gem meter. Meddling to force it beyond our understanding. Who should we trust? Gain a barrier after chaining. Survive one fatal blow per level. Reduce max HP. Ah. Oh. So Shovel Knight gets more potions. Shield Knight gets shields. Which makes sense. Okay, uh, I should have gone for the potions instead. That was my mistake. That was my bad.
go. And I've got more shield now. Does that carry over is the good question. Let's see if this carries over. No, it doesn't. All right, that's, that's expected. My items do, though. Extra damage to all blocks, leaves a fire trail, hover over hazards. This this one. Trail one next. Oh, jeez. Nice. Get on out of here. Nice. Now let's see if I can do the next level. Hey, it's King Knight this time. Curious. Chain. Yeah, come on, come on. What do we got in here? Meal ticket, plus two HP, find gems and blocks. Get this.
next chain explodes, you're charging on the chest. Okay, there we go. Aha! I know I recognize that clumsy sound of a commoner's walk bow before your king. King Knight. Gold and glory. There we go, that's what I was looking for. More health. Close. Got him! King Knight acquired. Boss defeated. 556 steps, 110 KO, 110,000 gems. Five minutes. King Knight! Magic Landfill. What on earth? I don't have enough for any of these, apparently. Okay, that's not... That wasn't fair. I didn't have any option. I don't even know what that is. King Nine Locked. Bump and Toys to Switch Characters. Give my best shot. Who are you? Give me a thousand gold. I'll find your passion. You have the choices they grow. Snazzy. 
in a hurry to get somewhere, friend. And I just hop into my can. I seem perfectly calibrated, I assure you. Yeah, I could even you for and five them since gems are required. Ah, if you get further than Ah, okay, that's pretty good. Okay, that's not too much money either. Pocket Dungeon Master, I like the sound of that. I learned my vast list of titles. Need me to do some digging. So many subjects a new kingdom to rule. My golden reign begins. Press X to bash. It's harder based on distance, but you'll take one more damage. Oh, interesting. Let's try him out. Oh, so you will take damage on that no matter what. Well, I didn't get any gems, so not worth doing. What is the point of that? I guess if you enemies have like three health. No, because it does two. Okay, so going against this one here, it does two to me, but it only does one. Okay, no, it didn't work because I was too close. I don't I don't understand how this one works. Exploring a new can location, comrade. How do I change costumes? Also, it, it says costumes, but how do I? Oh, can fast travel. Okay, cool. Oh, food. Why does... The fact that it does retaliatory damage on me is a little concerning. Because it makes me kind of suck. Like, having the retaliatory damage makes him suck actually a lot. Stars like you found all the passion at last. style around. My question.
What hit me? Oh, I stepped into poison by accident. Oh. I right, return to camp real quick. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. Oh, that's fine too. Oh, it's King Knight again? Oh, everybody has their own separate progression. Oh, I got it. There we go, Magic Landfill bot. Oh, a little swan, so it changes. I think that kind of sucks, though. I'm gonna be real. Alright, uh, let's do this. La last, last run. Last little thing. This is... I'm, once you get into the groove of this, it really feels good, though. Of course, there's little bits and pieces of it that still kind of mystify me a little. Like, uh... How exactly... some of these mechanics function. healing. Or, not, not the healing, the, um, the chains. Oh, wait, I think I actually do understand it now. Just, just saying that, I think I understand it. So, what I think it is, is when you hit something in a chain, it deals one damage to everything else in the chain, and then that just applies, but the spear, specifically, if you hit one thing, it'll actually deal two damage to everything in the chain, because it triggers both times on each of those hits. Or maybe it deals, like, your weapon damage to everything in the chain? Maybe that's how it works? Yeah, that's how it works. Cause I always just deal- I just dealt two damage to those guys. Gem mirror depletion. Premium meal ticket. Ooh. More gems from chains. Give me money. Now that I understand how that works, that's a little bit better. Okay, not enough. Yeah, 
room cleared. Well, I had nothing. I had nothing. I was too close. I got nothing there. Poison foes, plus an damage max gem, freezes time on room enter when board is nearly full. Very cool. Alright, so that is Shovel Knight Pocket Dungeon. Yeah, turn to menu. Actually, one last thing, let's check out versus mode. Daily. What is daily? Play as King Knight, do a daily run. I died. I don't understand why it deals damage to you. That seems like a terrible idea. All right, anyway, so that's daily. Can't try it again for another four hours. Uh, feats. Save everybody as Shovel Knight, Shield Knight, King Knight, Spectre Knight, Plague, Treasure, uh, Tinker, Mole, Propeller, Polar, question mark, Scrap, Prism, And recruit all these people as well. Fatal Chainer. Destroy 20 with Shovel Knight's extra chain damage in a single run. Lose 4 HP or fewer in a single level Shield Knight. Beat a boss with 5 plus damage bash as King Knight. Ooh, cool. Star, finish a level without collecting a potion or turkey as Spectre Knight. Beat 20 enemies with poison in one level as Plague Knight. Hoard 50,000 gems as Treasure Knight. Construct your mech 10 times in one level as Tinker Knight. Avoid damage 10 times using Mole Knight's Burrow in a single run. Slay a boss few, fewer than 5 strikes as Propeller Knight. Slay 50 frozen enemies in one level as Polar Knight. Blank. Bag him and tag him. Destroy a chain of 10 enemies 5 times in a single level as Scrap Knight. Finish the level taking fewer than 10 steps as Prison Knight. Purchase every unlockable relic from Chester's Campfire Shop. Have 10 relics at once. Deal at least 5 damage to a single enemy as one strike. Deal 10 damage to a single enemy one strike. Slay 25 enemies in the same 50. How do you even do that? Unlock every costume for one character, score 100 points, and Mona's minigame. There's a lot in there. Leaderboards. And all the way down to the bottom. Nice. <laughs> Alright, and we have adventure. First, let's try this out real quick. Option. Doors, default, stock, infinite, junk on, relics on, speed, HP, attack damage items. Let's try versus CPU. Oh! Bury your opponent to win. Oh, I see. Escape that. Hey, hey, get wrecked, loser. <laughs> okay. So it's kind of like a Tetris versus thing, where when you clear stuff, it goes to the other side. Very cool. That's cool. I like that. All right. So that's going to be it for this. Um, 
looking at the time, yeah, I think that's probably going to be it for today as well. I don't have any other shorter games I wanted to check out today. So we'll be back with more games next week after Christmas is over. So tomorrow is Tuesday. That's Dark Souls. So got to make some more headway through that. Hopefully. Maybe beat Master Chief. See how that goes. That's the like that's the only real boss left in the game for me, Master Chief. Everything else is like I don't have to do. But I want to kill Master Chief. And collect the rest of the guns too. Anyway, that's that. As always, thanks for stopping by. Thanks for checking out the game with me. All these games, pretty good. Uh well, they're limited in most situations too. Like uh we got Yeah, well, we got Buffet Night. Very limited little RPG maker game, fun to play around with. Not a whole lot to the game, unfortunately, because it's it's made with a certain constraints, and the constraints don't necessarily help it flourish. Uh, Secret Santa, I honestly just want the OSD for that. I don't care about the game. <laughs> Game's fine. Game's okay, but I want the I want the music. And then Shovel Knight Pocket Dungeon, great. It's really fun. I'm gonna probably just keep playing that a little bit. It's uh, very hectic, and I. Is there an option? Let me see. Uh, stock. Yeah, okay, so there is, you can actually change the stock to however many you want. You can make it infinite, or you can make it up to ten. Okay, yeah. Yeah, okay. Okay, cool. Levels in order. Random, if you want to roguelike it up. Bosses on or off. Speed. You want to speed it up or slow it way down. Oh, you can actually make it true roguelike by just turning that off, so it's all puzzle. Oh! Oh! Okay. Items on or off, relics on or off. Okay! Okay, that's actually great. I really appreciate that. So turning the speed off makes it a true turn-based roguelike. Like, I, I, I'm zoomed out here, but like... Speed off? Or four times. Look, I want to see what this looks like. Let's see what this looks like. I gotta know. I gotta. I gotta know. Oh, and it has a death counter too now. Oh. Oh, that's cheeky. Let's see what this looks like at four times speed. Oh! Oh my God! This is fast. Where am I? Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, that's real hard. Holy shit. You know people are going to be beating it on that difficulty. Yeah, this is great. This game's great. It's got, it's like got good style to it. It's fun. It's very fast paced, but you can also slow it down to whatever speed you need and it doesn't punish you for that. It only punishes you for putting on the crutches, like increased damage and whatnot. This is excellent. Excellent game. Well worth the money, I think. It's 20 bucks. Like the other two were free. This one's $20. It doesn't have a demo, unfortunately. Definitely worth picking up though. This is a lot of fun. Anyway, that's where I'm going to leave that for today. Thanks as always for stopping by. Thanks for checking out the game with me. And I'll see you next time.